break ins are on the rise throughout the Carolinas and police say no car is safe. CMPD has investigated 4700 car break ins this year and that is up from last year and up double digits this month alone. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner live at five. Brandon burglars are even targeting police cars. That's right, Fred. What we're being told is that a CMPD officer's car was broken into sometime earlier this week, and that was right before CMPD. His department held a news conference talking about the issue of break-ins, not just in Charlotte, but throughout the region. The numbers are shattering last year's totals. Just this month, CMPD says car break-ins spiked 10%. June was just off the hook. Thieves striking everywhere from outside uptown apartments. I thought when I moved into a gated community, I was good. All the way down to South Park Mall. While he was writing me up, they got another break-in at the parking deck on the other side. Officers filed 4,700 reports so far this year, and of those, the term car break-in is more of a misnomer as a third of those vehicles were unlocked. Some even had a key inside. But for those other cases... Um, doing things right doesn't mean that you won't be a victim, though. Even the most vigilant people in our community, police officers, they too can become victims. Not even a day before this CMPD news conference... Uh, yes, ma'am. I just need to file a uh, report. Gastonia police say someone broke into Taylor Lee Hager's pickup, stealing a tactical vest, ammunition, magazine holders, and two police patches. According to Charlotte City Records, Taylor Lee Hager is listed as a CMPD officer, assigned with the Independence Division. And when we asked CMPD for more information, they declined our request for information, saying that it is out of, our out of their jurisdiction. Gastonia police still haven't recovered any of the equipment nor arrested anyone. Reporting live in Gastonia, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. As police say, no car is safe. Brandon, thank you.